everyone. Today our topic is capacitor. Capacitor is a device used for storing electric charges. It consists of two parallel metal plates separated by small distance as shown in figure. The medium between the two plates is air or sheet of some insulator. This medium is known as dielectric. The presence of dielectric can increase the capacitance of capacitor. Charging of capacitor. Capacitor is commonly charged by connecting its plates to the opposite terminals of battery. The positive charge appear on plate attached to positive terminal of battery. Similarly negative charge appear on the other plate of capacitor. Mutual interaction between the charges kept bound on plates of capacitor. Even after the removal of battery. An electric field generated between plates which kept bound the charges. So we can say that. Charge stored in capacitor is due to electric field between two charges. Capacitance. The capability of a capacitor to store charges is called capacitance. It can be represented by C. Its unit is farad. Mathematically. Q is equal to product of capacitance and potential of battery. The capacitance of capacitor is 1 farad. The capacity of capacitor which stores a charge of 1 coulomb. Having the potential difference of 1 volt between the plates. Farad is a larger unit we use microfarad and nanofarad. Types of capacitors. Here are different type of capacitor as shown in. Polar capacitors. Non-polar capacitors. Variable capacitors. Polarized capacitors are such capacitors. Whose terminals, electrodes, have. Polarity. It can only be connected one way in the circuit. The positive terminal should be connected to positive of supply and negative to negative. These capacitors are only used in direct current applications. A type of capacitors that has no implicit polarity. It can be connected either way in the circuit. They are mainly used in circuits of coupling, decoupling, feedback and oscillation. A variable capacitor is a capacitor whose capacitance may be intentionally and repeatedly changed mechanically or electronically. There are many uses of these variable capacitors such as for tuning in LC circuits of radio receivers. Combination of capacitors. When capacitors are connected plate to plate, the right plate of one capacitor is connected to the left plate of next capacitor so on as shown in fig. This combination is called series combination. When a battery of potential, V, is attached in the series combination, the potential difference must be equal to V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. The charge stored on each capacitor will be same. So. The capacitance of capacitor. 1 over C equivalent is equal to 1 over C1. Plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. When capacitor are attached in series. Their equivalent capacitance decreases then their equivalent capacitance of each capacitor. When two or more capacitors are connected between the same points in the circuit, then it is called parallel combination. When it is attached to battery of potential, V, the potential across each capacitors is same. 
v equal to v1 equal to v2 equal to v3 where the charge stored in each capacitor is different q equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 the capacitance of capacitor is c equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 when capacitor are attached in parallel combination their equivalent capacitance equal to sum of all capacitance of capacitor thanks for watching us